Firefighters at a small fire department say they were betrayed by one of their own, swindled out of thousands of dollars, and now that department is just scraping by. They're forced to sell off trucks and equipment to pay off debt. Fox 4's Natalie Solis is at the Crandall Fire Depart Department in Kaufman County. That's where firefighters are gearing up for a fundraiser to replenish what they lost. Natalie. That's right, Heather. They sure are. Now, this department did have two big engines, like the one over my shoulder, uh, fully equipped, but now they're down to just the one. Uh, but for these guys, definitely some feelings of betrayal, but also some safety concerns that they're not able to help the community to the best of their ability. The Crandall Fire Station houses the big wheels, and now also some smaller ones, along with a bookcase, Texas Rangers garb, a Red Rider BB gun, and a woman's necklace. Well, we would just like to thank the community for all their backing and support. All items donated for an auction to get the department back on its feet. It's, it's, it's very humbling to go out and, you know, basically ask for something that the community was probably already paid for in their tax dollars. In October, 60-year-old Denny Mackey, a local preacher and the department's chaplain and treasurer, charged with abuse of official capacity for allegedly misappropriating funds. It was a very shock. Everybody trusted me, you know, and I've learned a big lesson. The loss discovered in September. The department had just $1,000 left. Cousins says Mackey was applying for personal loans using the department's information, even putting up fire trucks as collateral. Now the banks want their money. He estimates the loss well over $200,000. The department recently sold several trucks. These are all our hand tools that we use on a fire scene. All those had to go. And all the equipment on board. Cousin says responding to recent fires, tougher with fewer resources, no money for training, even nearby cities losing out. When people call for mutual aid, uh, we need to go help them. We can't because we ain't got but one engine, and, and that leaves us high and dry here in our city. The department says it's grateful for the community's support as it tries to move on, and move on it will. But we'll get there. It's just going to take a long time. All right, well, for those who would like to help, there is a benefit fish fry and auction that's going to be on Saturday, May 17th, so mark your calendars. It's at the Crandall High School Cafeteria and starts at 5 p.m. Heather? All right, so Natalie, curious about then what's next with the investigation and wondering what Mackey says about all this. Right. Well, I can tell you that the Texas Rangers are investigating. Uh, Mackey has not been indicted, but his attorney does tell me that they are cooperating with the investigation. They've even handed over some records. Uh, but once this investigation is complete by the Texas Rangers, uh, they'll then hand it over to the DA's office. And uh, the attorney tells me then they'll have a much better idea of what they're dealing with. Heather? All right. Natalie Solis live tonight. Thank you.